Hi everyone. It's the first Sunday of the month, which means I am going to be honoring a woman in STEM. It only felt right to start with the world's most famous female chemist, Marie Curie. Marie Curie was originally named Maria Slodowska. 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 Maria Slodowska. I don't know if I said that right. She was born in Warsaw, Poland. She had a pretty rough early start to her life. Both of her parents were school teachers, but her mom died when she was pretty young. Her dad wasn't really good with money, so as early as she could, she took teaching jobs and then eventually worked as a governess. She used all her money to help put her sister through medical school, all in the hopes that in return her sister would help her get an education as well. She eventually moved to Paris, France, where she studied physics and mathematics. It was there that she met her future husband, Pierre Curie, and after getting married, changed her name to Marie Curie. Her and her husband worked side by side at the university. He was a professor of physics and she was completing her PhD. She eventually succeeded him and became head of the laboratory. He died a tragic death by horse and carriage, and she ended up taking over his job as a professor. She was the first woman to ever hold that title. There was this guy named Becquerel, which I also don't know if I said that right. He discovered that uranium was giving off rays that could pass through walls, solid matter, fog, photographic film, and even was able to conduct electricity in the air. Marie Curie and her husband Pierre studied this along with Becquerel and named it radioactive. Activity. The three of them together won the Nobel Prize in 1903 in physics for their study of spontaneous radiation. Marie noticed that uranium left off a residue that she called a pitch blend. She eventually was able to isolate that and found a new element that was even more radioactive than uranium. This element was named polonium after Marie's home country. Poland. She then took it another step further and found that the leftovers of that contained another even more radioactive element, which then became known as radium. They often didn't wear gloves and had raw, swollen hands from dealing with radioactive materials. It's noted that she likely died of leukemia caused by radioactivity, as well as her daughter. She did amazing things with science in her life. One of the things was that she created mini x-ray machines that were used in World War I. They were called Petit Curies. She also tried to isolate radium from its radioactive element and isolate just the metal to use for its therapeutic properties. After her husband died, her research didn't end. She went on to win another Nobel Prize in 1911, in chemistry this time, for her work on radioactivity. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and to date is still the only woman who has won the Nobel Prize in two categories. She had two daughters Irene and Eve. Irene went on to marry a chemist and together they won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their work on artificial radiation. Countless monuments have been named after Marie Curie. If you're working on Marie Curie for a project, I highly suggest looking up all her awards and all the amazing laboratories that have been named after her since. She literally dedicated her life and death to science. Nothing in life is to be feared, only to be understood. If you like what you learned today, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the little notification bell so that you're the first to know when a new lesson drops.